Welcome to another Ramble Rants and Drives. I am Fool again. This is Tiny Tim. Say hello, Tiny Tim. Yo, yo. And this is Misty the Penguin. Say hello. <laughs> All right. Today, we're going to be talking about just random stuff we want to talk about. We're going to be talking about cars we like. We're going to be talking about chicks we like. We're going to be talking about who knows what else. Wait, wait. What type of chicks like? The little yellow furry ones? Exactly. I love those chicks. I love baby chicks. <laughs> That's called What's interracial. Not That's called interracial. With the yeah. penguin and, and the interracial. chick. Interracial. Yeah, interracial. It's a it's one mixed race date. No, that's called bestiality, man. <laughs> or interracial's when it's you're thinking like interracial is like like white, black, and yeah. So penguin and chick. Oh <laughs> yeah. But you're I different forgot. species. That's yeah, the you're thing. Yeah, still different species. <laughs> No, no, I'm saying, like, if you were to convert into animal kingdom and then talk about the different races, like, I would be, like, the black person, like, a, a black penguin, you know? And the, and the baby chick would be, like, the pretty white girl that, like, no, 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 no. bad Your jail bait? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> I, I could go with that, but I was saying go with the yellow end would be Asian. Asian. It would be Asian. So, Asian jail bait. I don't know. I feel like Good. if we were Because chick is, like, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like so, Asian so you heard that. like a cat. They should be more of the cat. <laughs> okay, that is not what they do, but whatever. Asian people do eat, eat dogs. Don't lie to me about this. I, just, I wasn't saying Asians didn't. I was saying cats don't. But they have the slanted eyes like Asian people. I will give you that one. Especially the Persian ones. <laughs> we got really racist really fast. <laughs> you're right. Um, <laughs> yeah, right? Sorry, but, not sorry, internet. We know you're racist too. <laughs> Hashtag. You know you got a dirty, dirty mind. <laughs> it's in the gutter, and it's okay to keep it there. Oh, so I was talking about topics and stuff like that. Talking yeah. about topics? About talking. Yeah, we're on the topic about chicks and stuff, right? <laughs> so there was a funny thing that happened the other day, right? I want to share this story with you, uh, hooligan, 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 hooligan. Well, I am um, a hooligan, but my name is hooligan. hooligan. Yeah. Uh, so with that, uh, I want to say, so you know there's the thing about girls with thigh gaps and some guys prefer it, some guys don't. I don't understand that at all. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like, the th like the thigh gap, it's like between the inner thighs, if there's like this much space. And there was other uh, jokes and other phrases and other. Okay. Um, if you're see, on the chive, it's called mind the gap. See, yeah, mind that the makes gap. Sense. The way I heard it is like if a girl has a good butt, she doesn't have a thigh gap. But if she has a not good butt, she has a thigh gap. That's how it works. It, well, because muscle and, and fat and such would and I don't play in. I don't know the. Anyways, let's stuff. continue not, with your skin. Anyways, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so with you that, put the, you put the dough in the self-cleaning oven with the ant eater, right? Yeah. If none of you know what I'm talking about, listen to the Kane show with Dr. Oz saying that the vagina is a self-cleaning oven. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so with that, um, and I was like, wow, I, I, I experienced my own thigh gap to, uh, a couple of days ago. Um, and I, I explained how it was, because I, I have very hairy legs. And the hair is between my legs, legs, between my thighs, uh, started touching each other. So they started tickling me down there after I took a shower. And it got a little awkward and really weird at the exact same time. So I don't know if, I don't know if it was because of my thigh gap or whatever, but just gonna say. Hold on, are, are, you, are you telling us that you tickled your own pickle for a nickel? No. <laughs> No, 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 but it wasn't like that. There was no nickel involved, it was just tickle to pickle. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was just tickle to pickle. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I had that, I just wanted to share that with the world. I was like, I just thought that was interesting. That my hair is touched each other, it's sort of tickling down there between my thighs. And that's the strange the world sensation. I'm so happy you shared that with me. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's a news flash. Yes. What's your thoughts on that, fool again? Um, I. I, I just get like tickle by pickle for a nickel. That's all I keep thinking about. Give you a dime no. if you take your time. By the way, if you guys hear like bumps and stuff, we're in a car this time. We actually are Ramble Rants and Drives with emphasis. Now you know why there's a car on the thumbnail. Yeah. Actually, funny part about the car. The funny part about the car. A car is a, the year older, new, or year newer, modern than the car we're actually in. Modern? Modern. Model, model, model that, <laughs> that word. I need like, a beer. <laughs> you need, need a beer. beer. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna go from Misty the drunk penguin. That's just how it's gonna end being near the end. Uh, we have to do one of these when we're drunk, just because. For the shits and giggles, woohoo! Um, so we can take our pickles. <laughs> for no nickels? Who wants nickels? I want dimes. I can get dime. You take your time. What were the rest of those that you were thinking uh, of? It was, uh, the, the following ones was, uh, yeah, tickle, pickle for nickel. I, I, I give you a dime if you take your time. Uh, the, I'll give you a dollar if you make me holler. And then one was like, I'll give you a 
50 for closer 50. Hold on, hold on. Um, I'll give you a quarter. Yeah, we, yeah, I was wondering where the quarter. Why uh, did we just skip a quarter? Uh, we haven't had a quarter yet. Like, we have to think of one, okay? God, Jesus Christ, holy moly. Huh. Okay, commenters, help us think of what yeah. the time with a quarter. Uh, so, uh, pick, no, the, 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 the thing we're trying to do is we're trying to do one of every of the U.S. currency monetary system. Uh, monetary system that from the penny up to the hundred dollar bill. That's what we're gonna go. We don't want to do anything past it because uh, we're, not, it comes yeah, we're not dealing with monopoly money. And and including the two dollar bill because that's technically still. So are you including the fifty cent piece too? No, because uh, if you, well, you could do. I don't know if we want to do the fifty. No, because you already have a fifty in there. Even a fifty dollar bill. And if you want to, again, 50, you already 50, have. 50. If you're going up through. Up, there, I came up with a fifty. Fifty no. if you're nifty. I said I. I'll give you a fifty if you're nifty. That's actually good. That's huh? actually pretty good. Yeah, I don't think about that one. Yeah. Um, no, because if you're if you're doing it, then if you got um you got five dollars, you got ten dollars. So there's your nickel and your dime. Same thing. No, 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 and we might use it in one of our videos. We might just use it as a catchphrase or something. It depends if it's good. Yeah, but <laughs> if it's I learned not, some we'll shit. You, you suck. <laughs> I just like, like taking random like quotes and just things that happen on the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I need a life. We all need a life. This I is our life now. More than a life. I need a psychiatrist. I know one. Yeah, we do. I know, I know who's in psychology and might turn you upside down and then some. Uh, who? Nanners. Man, I don't know your nicknames for other people. It confuses me. So I don't want to say names. Not oh, wait, wait. Uh, is it where we went on New Year's Eve? No. No. It's is Batman. Is it somewhere we went to the convention with? Uh, that was Jenny. I thought you just said I don't want to say names. <laughs> well, that's not her full name. Yeah, true. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Nanners. What well, does it rhyme with? Or has the name inside of it. Nanners. If I show a picture, you don't understand. But All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we'll, we'll is it your on. girlfriend? No. No. Is it Misty's sidekick? No. No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't anyway, worry about it. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> continue the conversation, guys. I have had a. It was a. It was actually an okay day at work. I was not happy when I when I first got there because they were like, "Hey, guess what, Fulgin?" I was like, "Santa died." <laughs> and they were like, no, you're on headset. I was like, well, I would have been happy if you would have said Santa died. But anyways, I was on headset all day. And you got, if anybody works at a fast food job where you're on headset, you know my pain. People are just ridiculous about things. Can I have two separate orders and then two more separate orders? So you want four separate orders? No, I want two and two. How does that even make sense? But we didn't. <laughs> I'm like, the math is there, but yeah. No, just... no, like, wait, did you do like one order that was two separate orders? They want to make sure they were just separate but paid on the same bill, or what? And then the other say as I say, like, it was literally, or is it for like order, four order, 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 separate orders, but they wanted to, it to be called two and two. Okay, so you have to give them the benefit of the doubt about being in their mind. Maybe, I don't know. It was uh, what also something I don't like is when people like pull up to the the speaker to talk and they just are arguing with each other about what they're about to get. I'm like, so you want a number one? They're like, yeah, with a large coke. No, 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 not a large coke, a normal coke. Wait, wait, I want a milkshake. And it's like, can you get, can you decide before you come? And then why are you just yelling at me the whole time? <laughs> like, like, I'm like, I'm at fault for whatever reason. You can't decide on your food that you want to eat. And and one lady, she came and she was like whispering. I was like, ma'am, can, can you speak up? And she she starts, this is how she starts pronouncing pronunciating everything. And I hate it when people do this. She's like, I want a number five. And I was like, ma'am, you don't, you don't have to talk to me like I'm slow and you don't have to yell. <laughs> I was like, just speak up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually said that to her, and she got offended. <laughs> Surprised you're not fired. Yeah, really. Me too. Really? <laughs> but my managers went around, so it was just another employee who was in, who was posing to be my manager, and they're like, "We will reprimand him immediately." And then when they left, he was like, "Man, that was funny." I was like, "I know, right?" <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? Weren't you like Optimus or something like that? 
Oh, I make up names all the time when I'm on headset just because I get so bored and frustrated. I usually use my other coworkers' names to get them in trouble. <laughs> I was but, talking about when you weren't responsible for being on headset. Oh, yeah. I was like, hello, this is Justin Bieber <laughs> and The Rock Johnson I was and Optimus say, Prime. Justin Bieber with that level of a voice should have been the first give off right there. Uh, they were like, what? Can you be like me, Mouse, go, oh, oh, bye. Can I take your water? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you said something else. <laughs> yeah, but... But you oh. left the prize for that? <laughs> hey, so guys, what is your dream type of car? Like, do you want a sports car or a muscle car or a sedan or an SUV or a crossover or whatever, a cross something? Just stop cross? talking. Just stop talking. You want a cross? <laughs> no, when I, when I was originally coming up with this, uh, with this uh, question, it wasn't, what's your dream car? Because your dream car could be something stupid, ridiculous, like a Lamborghini or oh. something like that. And where we are... Can it be a Viper? I, my vehicle wants to be a Viper from Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> yeah, get working on that. <laughs> okay. Um, was, I was thinking of the area you are in. Like, practically wise, like what car would you get? Practically? You, well, I was trying to... Well, it originally started as trucks versus cars. Like, give me your reason why you wouldn't want a truck or you would want a car or wouldn't want this or whatever. Why did you pick that one? Yeah, why? Oh, are you talking like within reason, like having to pay off the car or just like buying one? Are we talking like going to a dealership or just like, oh, would you just Okay, this car? With, your, with your current status, what is the most convenient car for you to have? For an example, the vehicle I have, I would choose would be an SUV. With all my hobbies and with all the traveling and with all the stuff that I like to do, I like having the extra cargo space, the rack on top and below, you know what I'm talking about, anywho, <laughs> and going from there. See, I can do a sedan for a cheaper maybe car payment or a cheaper car, but... Better fuel efficiency. For, you know, maybe a bit, a bit better fuel efficiency, but the trade-off is that I lose a lot of space. And I do a lot of stupid things anyway, so I prefer having the extra space. Uh, I could have gone with a truck, but I think a truck would have just been too much for me. And the prices of them, like the cheapest one would have been what I paid for, but I would have at least gone something for like a full cab style truck versus a, you know. Uh, so instead of just a cab, you would have gotten a crew? The, yeah, crew size. Oh, okay. Uh, then I can answer this. I would either get a uh, sports car. Or a or a sporty yep. looking sedan, and just for the fact that uh, I like looking cool and I like cars, I don't like trucks and SUVs are okay, but I just like having a sporty car. That's what I like. So you're living with your bachelor life. Yeah. I mean, no. Even if like I I got married, I would tell my wife, I'd be like, you can have whatever type of car you want, but I'm still always gonna have a sports car. I am having the roadster in the garage. The minivan stays outside. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, I'm I'm more of a practical guy. But uh, I would I would like to get a sports car, just for fun. But the name is very tricky because I don't fit inside sports cars. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you catch my drift. Yeah. My name is not. It's really accurate. big. Yeah. For being tiny. <laughs> okay. Um, I do like trucks just because of their versatility and um, just how durable they are, kind of feel. Just I like my trucks, I really do. And um, but I would get an SUV too, because honestly, I, when I ride in this car, I, you, I like you, it. Would you, would you do a full size SUV or a compact SUV or mid size SUV? Well, the, what I have is actually a mid size. You have a mid size. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I drive a some a pickup truck right now, so it's a mid size truck, and I would love to get a full size truck when I can afford it. And um, for SUV though, since it'll be like kind of my my. I would say kind of my just drive around. It wouldn't have to be as big. It would probably be a midsize. Midsize size. Okay. Midsize size because I like I like bigger cars personally, just because I like having that extra three feet from the car in front of me to me, kind of thing. Kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I learned how to drive on a freaking land yacht, the 1995 Lincoln Town Car. When every Honda in front of me started like you know trying to do crazy stuff I'm like hit me hit me I want to see what this does to your car <laughs> yeah Carmageddon all over again yes Carmageddon all over again watch it uh, I feel like cops wouldn't even mess with that car like you would see it hitting into other cars and the cop would just be like no no I'm not I'm not gonna stop that guy <laughs> yeah. 
No. <laughs> We're gonna call it SWAT. <laughs> Spike strips out the wazoo. Bring the armored vehicle. We need that to stop it. Oh crap! If I got a rhino after me, that would be hilarious. You guys remember those in like Need for Speed Most Wanted and Carbon? Oh my gosh, those, those were... things were so hard to like get away from because they were super fast and they would just knock you around. <laughs> my favorite is when I would get a cop like behind me just barreling and I would see a rhino coming straight at me and at the last second I would do like a drift move around it and like two cop cars would just slam into each other mm -hmm. and I'd get I'd get property damage I would get a what is it bounty on me and then um and then points for it too and it's like okay now go to cool off dude I once had at one point during carbon all of my cars were like at the highest heat they could you go got like three stars or five stars or whatever it was whatever the highest heat, was, three, heat three that's what it was I don't remember. That might have been for most wanted, but I remember for carbon it was like the highest one, and I had it on every one of my cars. I could not drive any of my cars. <laughs> I need to go get paint jobs. <laughs> I wish they still had racing games like that, where like you were actually a street racer, like you went around the city and everything. Don't. Don't. Oh. Dick. No, he, he's good. He's good. Oh, he turned it off. He turned it off in like the last second. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Go ahead. Sorry. Is that no, yeah, racing games, yeah. I just wish they had them like that. Like now, they just have the ones where it's like, oh, you're a street racer, you just street race, or like you can't actually get in trouble with the cops. Like you have to actually go and do a challenge to get in trouble with the cops. I'm like, no, that was the fun of most of like Need for Speed was you just like drove around and oh, the cops would like see you and like in free room and like try to stop you if you were doing something. Mm -hmm. I was always doing something. Yeah, so. of course. No, like I like the old, old classic uh, Underground. That was fun because you had all the different type of races, front, circuit, uh, drifting contest. You had the drag race, which was kind of cool because uh, you know with the shifting and everything. So that yeah. was a cool one. And you could customize it uh, most of your car, most of your cars. So it was definitely a cool aspect to it. Um, yeah. And then I ran into and all that, but it's like the games got a little bit better in graphics. But Some of the games are okay, but I feel like. like Racing games haven't been fun for a while, though. Like, they just haven't been as good as they used to be. I, w I want to hop in here, and I want to say, I did I did enjoy Underground, like you, Misty, because mm. we used to play that. And that was so much fun. And then I also enjoyed, um, like, Carbon and Most Wanted because of the free roam aspect of yeah. it. But when Pro Street came out, where it was, like, legitimately back to what underground was yeah. they didn't do it in the same way and the mechanics were completely different from what i remember yeah. so i actually hated pro street yeah and then after that they came out with most wanted which i think was the best need for speed they made it was or it was undercover my bad it was undercover and that was the best like it was for ps2 and i just played the crap out of that game and it like had some nice looking loading screen pictures if you know what i mean like girls dressed up like cops and being all sexy like tatas hanging everywhere mm -hmm. best game ever and after that they just didn't make any more good need for speed games i think oh i got a question for you after this it would be interesting to see us let's play it for the for podcast speed game, or no though. no oh, work okay yeah it would be interesting to let's play a racing game yeah like if you can like I just want to say I'm super excited that we're going to be our releasing a few episodes of our Let's Play really soon. Misty has been really has been working really hard on editing them and everything. I hope you guys I what really now? what? Just do your job, okay? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I hope you they guys... keep me in a cage. <laughs> Animal cruelty. Hey, we give him food and water daily. We give him sardines. Yeah, he gets sardines, so he he's good. For him, I hate we'll sardines. Him... I'm allergic to them. <laughs> They're fish. You eat fish. <laughs> Not that kind of fish. Not that kind of fish? No. Hey, too bad. Get back in your hey, cage. stop talking or else we're going to get a sea lion on you. <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy the Let's Plays. Please watch them. I think, the, even though they're older games, I think you guys will enjoy watching us just screw up all the time. Yeah. It's definitely screw again. It's funny to watch it. Yeah, I, I die a lot. Oh, uh, it was funny. I was so pissed because I was in the final part of uh, rendering and all that. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I was like, all right, got the episode ready to go. Just got to render it, make the final copy. And then I can start uploading for the following week. And I'm like, all right, cool. Got it, got it, got it. As soon as I got done rendering, it took like an hour for it to render. Um, it was, uh, I missed like the first like five seconds, like the whole intro part. <laughs> and I'm like, God, son of a bitch, Clyde. I was so pissed because I have to go back, render it again, and make sure I include that five seconds because I did like a whole like section thing. And it gets all... Included and all that. He decides to do it the hard way. 
do it the thing the hard way and shit, yeah. Uh, so with that, I think we'll go ahead and end it. We'll go ahead and end it. Alright all right. then, from all of us here at No Filter Fools, thank you for listening to Ramble Rants and Drives, and we'll see you